Rock took all we had. Somebody gonna have to pay. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi Jam. We are locked in. This is the recap for episode five of Raising Canaan season three. Now, I gave this episode an eight and a half, a nine almost, but we're getting the storyline we've been asking for. Ronnie and Unique, oh man, they battle it out. Kanan is becoming a man right in front of our eyes, and Rock is still trying to decide, am I going to stay out the game or am I going to get back in the game? She's hesitant, but we're going to find out eventually, and this is the mid-season finale. But before we jump into this and we break this down, I give you the recap of the episode. If you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions, recaps, live after shows, then hit your subscribe button. I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so if you don't see this video at 100 likes, hit that like button. Now, Famous and Kanan, they got a little rip. Jukebox is making a couple of new relationships, and it looks like Lou has finally found something he's interested in. So let's jump into it. This is the recap of episode five, Raising Kanan. You the editor this stone, Kanan, and it's waiting for you, if you want it. We see Kanan in the room making some plays. Now, this is the clip that they released this week, and he's talking to Famous, telling Famous, don't mess it up. Every call is money on the line. But Kanan has to stay at his mom's house because of the gun that she placed in his bag. So she's trying to watch and see everything that he's doing, but Kanan is one step ahead. So Rock is saying, what is Famous about to mess up on? It's going to be good for you living here with me, Kanan. But Kane is not trying to hear that. We've seen that Ronnie is really trying to establish himself out here in the game. So at the beginning of the episode, he ends up stealing the car, putting the gun to this man's head, and he takes the car over to Unique's house and lets Unique know, hey, I'm flipping cars right now. I'm trying to get some money. This is the middle of the night. He rings the doorbell about seven times. Unique wakes up and says, Ronnie, I'm going to put you on in the game. You're hot right now. You just got out of jail. Don't be stealing cars. But we know that Ronnie is impatient. And he's going to do whatever Ronnie wants to do. Rock has bought the Southside Plaza. And we all were speculating on, are these cops dirty or not? Well, it comes to find out they're dirty. And they're the one that's actually vandalizing the building. And what they're doing this for is to try to extort some money from Raquel because they know she has bread. She paid cash for the building. So they're saying, hey, we see some violations here. We can get those violations to go away. We could put security up out here so it will prevent us from breaking the glass. But Rock, she's not trying to be in the game. She's trying to go legit. So she tells the gentleman, no thank you, I'll pass. Famous ends up getting jammed up. He's out on the block. Kanan has already told him not to mess up. Well, the police pull up. You try to run. Everyone else has scooters and bikes. They get low. Famous gets caught up in the middle of all of it. And well, there goes the work and there goes the money. So at this point... Famous got to go on down there and talk to the people and let them know what he knows. Unique said he was going to put Ronnie on, so he's trying to show him how the operation is going to run at the Chinese restaurant. They bring the work in here. They open up shop. You come in, ask for the special. They give you the special. You get out of there. Unique doesn't like this plan. He doesn't want someone else running the operation. He wants to do it. And when he gets outside, he tells Unique about himself and tells him that, you got your head so far up Rock's legs, you are whipped. You're going to do any and everything that she says. Now, Unique doesn't like this, and we can see that the two brothers, they start to have a little grudge between the two of them. CPS shows up to Rock's house because it's a random appointment where they're supposed to meet up with them and talk to her and to Kanan to see how the living conditions are doing because he got suspended from school for bringing a gun to school. Now, Kanan isn't here because we know he's out on the block looking for Famous while Famous is locked up. So the lady is saying, hey, you know Kanan is supposed to be here at all times. He shouldn't be hanging with his friends, the same friends that put him in the predicament that he's in. Now, she doesn't know that Raquel was the one to put the gun in his bag, but she's still saying, hey, if he's hanging around bad kids, he probably shouldn't be, Rock. That's why we're here today. So Rock, she wants to know, When's the next time you coming by? So Kanan can be here for sure. Because if not, he'll get shipped off. Kanan missed a meeting with the CPS lady. But he couldn't pass up a meeting with his squad and making sure that they re-up looking for famous. He ends up running into Ronnie. And Ronnie is asking him, is he Rock's boy? But he makes it clear he's not Rock's boy. He is Kanan. And no, I don't work for Unique. Now, Ronnie doesn't really understand what's going on in the streets. So he assumes that everything he's been watching Kanan do was moving H, but it's really just been marijuana. 
So now he's looking at Canaan like, wait a minute. Okay, y'all been moving marijuana? My bad. I apologize. But we know Ronnie will never apologize. Ronnie goes home and he talks to Pranessa. And he basically tells her straight up, well, Unique isn't here. He didn't give me no work. He's probably out there screwing around with Rock. So now he's put a name on the alleged mistress that Unique has. So this puts Pranessa in a predicament where she has to go and talk to Unique about it. And this is what makes Unique very, very mad to leave the house. So right now, Ronnie, he's putting plays together. Everyone's getting ready to head out to Cafe Vu for Lulu's open mic night. Well, when Rock gets ready to head out because Marvin told her to come, the feds actually stop her and tell her we need to talk to you now because Demo gave up her name when he was in an interrogation room. This time she actually goes down there with a lawyer and he stops her from saying anything and just let them know yeah, she was a silent partner, a silent investor of Crown Camacho's bulletproof records, but that was it. She didn't have any other ties with him and his lawyer. Her lawyer did the right thing and got them off the trail. So as of right now, Rock is good and standing with the law, but she missed out on the open mic. Everyone shows up to open mic and we realize that Kanan and our boy Famous, they really aren't talking at all. When Kanan comes in, Famous leaves, they say nothing. Kanan sits down, he gets introduced to Aisha by Jukebox, and they go off in the corner, and she's like, what's wrong with you and Famous? He's like, oh, it's nothing. But then he tells her straight up, hey, what's up with your friend? And Jukebox says, she's a good girl, Kanan. We in a group together. Don't be a dick to her. So Kanan goes over there and talks to her. But I think Juke really wanted to talk to her. She's just hesitant to try to get back in another relationship because she already opened up to her and told her, about her and Nicole's relationship and how it didn't work. Unique finally gets in touch with Ronnie. And well, let me tell you, two brothers, they start going at it because Ronnie is messing up Unique's life. They get to fighting. Unique got the upper hand at first. It's looking like Unique is about to win this thing. They going at it. Ronnie throws him on the couch. They continuing to go at it. Unique ends up knocking him out. I'm like, dang, he the big dog now. But Ronnie ends up getting up. And what Ronnie does after that, he grabs a pipe. He begins to beat on his brother Unique so bad that it looks like he may be unalive. Puts him in the back of the trunk and throws him out in the woods. So as of right now, we're not sure if Unique is alive or if he's a goner. But this is all a part of the game. And sometimes siblings, they get into it with each other. All right, there you go. To recap for episode five, let me know what you rate this episode. And man, do you think that Unique is alive or is he a goner? Let me know what you think below. I'm Moat IJ. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. Remember, we do have a break in between five and six. That's what they're telling me. And we'll be back January 12th, 2024. So this might be my last video. So happy New Year's if I don't do a live or anything. I appreciate all of y'all. Thanks for watching. I'm out.